Hi, I'm Charlotte Fraza, a second year PhD student in computational neuroscience at the Donners Institute. And today I want to give you some tips and tricks to read a little bit more. So in general, I think I read about a book a week and some of my friends are really surprised. They were like, how do you read so much? So today I want to let you in on all the secrets such that you can also upgrade your reading and reading speed. So I was really inspired by the book of BJ Falk and that's on tiny habits. And tiny habits is this idea that if you have tiny habits during the day they can accumulate to really big results and reading this it kind of showed me that the things he was talking about are actually already things I'm doing and I also upgraded my environment a little bit such that I can read even more so in general he has developed the fog behavior model and the fog behavior model shows us how we actually develop tiny habits and the idea of the fog behavior model is that three key components have to be present and that's motivation ability and prompts and I want to talk about all of these three components and lead you through how to optimize them for reading so the first thing is motivation and that's just your motivation to do a certain behavior or how you get motivated and that can be intrinsically or extrinsically and I think for me what really works for my motivation is that a lot of people around me also read a lot for example my sister I think reads almost two books a week which is insane when I think about it how she does it she also has a full-time job but by being around her and also friends of mine that read a lot we all talk about the books we read or put it on Goodreads for example which is this reading platform and then you can kind of leave comments on what people are reading and seeing how much people read and also the books they are reading really inspires me to read more so I would advise to get friends that read a lot and surround yourself by them but of course if you you don't have those friends lying around you can also find them online right so I also follow a lot of booktubers for example Jack Edwards and he talks about books that he read throughout the week and seeing what he read also really inspired me to update my to be read list but there are other booktubers out there and also you have these online book clubs which I really like the idea of so online book clubs the idea is just that you join this club and then together you read for example a book a week or a book a month and then you kind of get inspired by these other people that are reading then the second thing he talks about is ability and of course I think most of us have the ability to read at this point but the problem is that usually we don't want to read an easy book we want to read the most difficult hardcore book we can find and then we start there and we get after 50 pages we get super demotivated because it's too difficult and we are too tired of the work to commit to this very thick book so what I recommend actually is to interleave with your more difficult books or or the books that you would really like to read some easier books in topics that you actually enjoy so I usually have four types of books lying around that I really enjoy reading one of them is an easy science book an easy like young adult book usually a literature book and then a more hard science book so right now for my young adult book I have this stranger the dreamer it's actually not that easy <laughs> like it's a young adult book but it's written in a very lyrical way and I personally really like young adult science fiction and fiction books I think it's really fun and it's just when you're really tired or after a long day this is really nice to come home to then for the literature book I have The Road to Wigan Pier by George Orwell at the moment it's a really thin book so I can take it with me on the train for example and I love the way George Orwell writes it's extremely funny um, and he's very lyrical then for my easy easy science book I have or popular science I would call it probably is Other Minds by Peter Godfrey Smith and this is a brilliant book if you're looking for anything fun to read in science read this it was nominated for the science book prize in 2017 but it's so fun it's about the octopus and everything octopus related and this inspired me that I want to study octopus brains in the future so it's one of the best books I've read this year so fun and for like my difficult um, science book, it's not really science, but it's more philosophy. And it's Eichmann in Jerusalem by Hannah Arendt. And she actually writes really um, easy, I think, but the topic is a little bit strenuous because it's on the Second World War and the trials that happened afterwards. But yeah, in general, I kind of divide my books 
that way, right? Like I have easy books that I can choose from and I have more difficult books such that no matter what mood I'm in, there's always something to read. And then the last part of the fuck behavior model is the prompts. And the prompt is just that you should have as many books around as possible. So I always have a book at my bedside, for example. I usually bring a small book in my bag. I also have a lot of books usually next to me on my desk. And I also bring my e-reader usually. At the moment it's empty, um, which is not too good. So this is a Kobo e-reader. I don't necessarily recommend this e-reader. It was just cheap, so. Yeah, that's why I bought it. And this is really nice for traveling and when I'm on the plane, for example, I usually use this. And yeah, I also have three final tips that I kind of want to give you. So the first one is read books you actually enjoy. I know so many people that just read books because they feel they have to read books and they read it in topics that they wouldn't even watch a Netflix series on. And then I'm kind of like, why are you torturing yourself like this? Just read in topics that you generally enjoy. And then once every so many books you can read a book that's a bit more challenging for example my second tip is to take notes as you read so I put these kind of sticky notes and the fun part of this is then when you finished reading the book you can go back over parts that you thought were really fun or really interesting and that kind of makes you re-remember the book and also re-enjoy the book so I think this is a really nice way to, to update your knowledge a little bit as well. And the last thing is to share what you read. So I think in general, I now share a little quote or a little opinion on Goodreads of what I read. And the only people that follow me on Goodreads are my really good friends. But it's still really fun because they usually comment like, oh, I'm also reading this book or what are you reading next or blah, blah, blah. And that kind of gives a community sense in the reading sphere, which I personally really enjoy. So yeah, these were my tips. And if you have any tips for me, I would love to hear them. So put them down in the comments below. I'm also really interested in what you are reading at the moment. So please tell me such that I can inspire myself for a bit more reading as well. And otherwise, see you next time. Bye.